so without uh, overcomplicating this in my mind, um, I'm normally on here in the safety of somebody else uh, in my company. Uh, today it's just me on my own and I don't normally do this. It's pushing myself outside of my comfort zone, but I experienced something uh, today that I wrote about, but I also felt a big pull to speak to it. So here I am. Right now, this minute, as I'm uh, creating this, I'm not even sure if I'm going to share it, but I'm going to do it and speak to it anyway. So if you're watching this, it means I hit the share button or the go live button. Um, and what I wanted to talk to was the topic of triggers. And today I shared a post and I titled, I just wrote the words, uh, make peace with your broken pieces. Um, I can talk about this now. I couldn't this morning because I was in the absolute throes of what it was I wrote about. And normally if I share something uh, publicly, it's because I've I've gone through it uh, deeply myself and given myself an integration period, which I'm not really doing now. I'm in it because I feel that this is a topic that is very in, uh, very much in a lot of people's faces at the moment. And what that topic is, as I said a minute ago, is where we're triggered and where in relationship, in friendship, in partnership, whatever it might look like, my stuff collides with yours, your stuff collides with mine, and then there is an all out shit show. Um, the place I went to this morning, uh, this has been over the last couple of days, actually. Actually, this has been over the last couple of weeks, if I'm being completely honest. Doing my own inner work, I do zero pointing, as a lot of people know. Whatever inner work looks like to you, I don't care as long as you do it because it's the only, for me, it's the only way that we can truly get to know ourselves. And as we get to know ourselves, we get to understand ourselves more. When you're in the face of being triggered or in a situation where you actually are, you have the bandwidth, you have the space, you have the discernment to um, react or to respond, or in this situation, to do nothing and feel your way through it. So what I just want to write about is, um, I've been doing a lot of deep, deep inner work, and it's like a million puzzle pieces coming together all the time in my world. And I wouldn't have it any other way because this is my choice. I choose to deep dive into my shit. I choose to deep dive into... Um, all of me so that I can understand why I think the way I think, why I act the way I act, why I react the way I react sometimes. And today I wrote this piece. So I just want to talk it, talk to it, if that makes sense. And if not, I don't know. Anyway, this is me being nervous. This is what I do. My mind is going a million miles a, a second right now because the space that I'm in means that no matter what comes out of my mouth, even before it's about to come out, I have an understanding of the origins of it. And with that understanding, this is the place it took me to today. So what I wrote was, deep sadness consumes me. I keep forgetting to breathe, literally. To breathe is to feel, and to feel is to ache. I feel like I'm tumbling down through darkness, layers of darkness. The only thing illuminating my fall looks like a movie reel, showing images, movie clips, more images, more movie clips. I am in each of them. Words I don't hear, but I feel them. Loss, confusion, fear, sadness, grief. Uncontainable grief, uncontrollable grief. Tears erratically fall from my eyes in between gasps when I remember to breathe. I'm watching the history of my past and I continue to fall deeper into what feels like a bottomless hole. My heart is breaking into a million pieces. It feels like a concrete block is on my chest. 
the more inner work I do to understand myself, the more I witness the actual impact, all that I have lived, believed, felt, experienced and gone through has had on my world. My heart is broken for her. The version of me in each of these images I see as I keep falling deeper. The version of me in each video clip as scenes play out. All she has been through, experienced, felt. All she has held within, left unspoken, never said. All that she has learned, all that she has lived. Based on what I've uncovered about myself through my work, I understand now that it could never have played out any other way. And so I feel my way through. The videos and the images illuminating the following. Be what others need you to be, or you won't be accepted. Be yourself and you will be guaranteed to be rejected. Don't say anything that might upset somebody else, even if it's tearing you up inside and you are upset. To be heard, you need to shout, literally. To be loved, you have to put others' needs before your own. Communication always equals conflict. And a conversation about how you feel, what you need, what you are going through will always result in an argument. So there's no point in saying anything. Stay. It will surely get better. Never knowing where you stand emotionally speaking with people will be prevalent in your life. This alone will have detrimental effects on each and every relationship you enter because you will never feel safe. You will look outside of yourself for this safety, but you will never attain it. Others will never understand this either because you won't understand it yourself. You will spend your life looking for forever in temporary people, temporary experiences, temporary substances, never understanding the source of your disconnection happened within. Play small, don't stand out. Be seen, don't be heard. You can't do anything alone. Fuck accountability. Fuck responsibility. Fuck trying to change. It won't last. Leave the pieces for someone else to pick up. And the most recent, while trying to express how I felt about something that was important to me, I was told, fuck you, go kill yourself. Now I understand my thoughts, beliefs, feelings, emotions and experience compounded as a result of being reaffirmed by my external world and the people in it. But I learned the above. I lived the above. Does this mean I want to stay there? Fuck no. Does this mean I want to repeat any of the above cyclical patterns that I have uncovered about myself? Absolutely not. I have to cut ties with the version of myself that have allowed these patterns to play out. These were my story. These were my illusions. In order to heal, to become whole, to become childlike again, remembering I am love and I am loved. Minus all of the judgments, projections, attachments, distorted perceptions that I must identify and move through all that I know I am not. And remember at my core, who and what I am. Love. I am love winging it. Source energy in skin. Energy in motion, experiencing clarity from compassion. I make mistakes, but in order to stop reliving my pain, I must understand the origins of it. To do that, I must understand myself. To understand myself, I have to feel and do the work. Today the work is simply to observe and to feel, to grieve and to just be. P.S. No one is coming in to rescue you, to help you change your life. So you may as well become your own goddamn superhero and rescue yourself. You hold within you the keys to unlock your own healing. Use them. 
Now, that's what I wrote this morning after I probably cried uh, for an hour straight, like a like a child, like a kid aged about eight or even younger, um, where I experienced waves, I mean waves of conflict in my head get up, do something, no, stay here, rest, you've got shit to do, no, you don't, you just have to be with this, am I imagining this shit, did I actually live this, did I actually experience this, am I losing my mind, is any of this real, and you know, the place I got to was right now, this second, even as I'm, as I'm speaking to this topic, none of it matters, None of it matters because it's given me an understanding of myself on a level and at depths that I've never, ever, ever been at. It has allowed me to take a step back and understand, like I wrote about, understand why my entire storyline mapped out the way it did and why you couldn't in fact have mapped out any other way. Do I want to hold on to these experiences? Do I want to keep talking about them? Do I want to keep reliving them? Absolutely not, like I said. But I do think that until we, as in people, really look in, turn in, detach from what it is that keeps trying to bind us to our stories, the, the beliefs we have surrounding our own um, experiences, how much we have dodged, really actively taken action about different things in our lives, um, doing something about it if we're not happy, until we actually are courageous enough to face ourselves, to explore why am I pissed off? Why am I sad? Why am I overjoyed? Why am I engaging in the things that take me even deeper into my own shit? Why am I here? What do I need? Because at the end of the day, and this is, this is just my perspective, but at the end of the day, there is a version of me trying to communicate with me, trying to show me me beneath these layers, beneath the stories that I told myself, beneath the experiences that I, I invested my time, energy and presence in that I believed were, were irre irrevocably real. I I, I'm in a place where I'm understanding myself more and more and more. And it gives me then the space to react, to respond, or to do nothing, whatever it might look like. And so this is why I wanted to really speak to this. I wanted to uh, share it. Because it's like there's so many people out there triggered within an inch of their being, especially now. Life is amplified and highlighted and shit and hard and difficult and it doesn't need to be like that the battle we have within our own minds is enough it's enough before we have lockdowns or pandemics or or anything else to contend with it's enough it's enough and in the now moment we repeatedly rob ourselves over and over and over again of the joy that we came here to experience because we are so attached to what happened in the past or we are so invested in a belief that isn't even true or we are so attached to the outcome of something based on the history of similar experiences before it blows my mind i've been blown up my own mind observing my own past and this isn't me doing the whole poor me thing. 
I don't want to feel like that, but I do want to understand. I do want to understand the likes of something like what I wrote there. In order uh, to be heard, you have to shout like, what the hell? And yet I lived it to not know where I stood emotionally speaking. I'm guarantee anybody watching this right now have lived that. Where did that stem from? Where did it come from? Why do you not know where you stand emotionally speaking? Why? <laughs> when you have a better understanding of yourself as a person, you have the capacity to do something with that. And that might look like reinvesting yourself in the bullshit story that you have told yourself. Or the codependent relationship that you have, you know, repeated time and time again. Or staying in a job where you are not um, appreciated. Or whatever it might look like. I don't know. Each individual person's story is exactly that theirs. But I do understand from today. And I mean, I can talk about this now. I couldn't talk about this this morning. I couldn't. I was a mess. I was a mess. And I'm still getting my head around the realizations of being able now to look at every life situation, every story, every picture, like I described in the, um, in the piece that I wrote, the origins of it. This is just me. Like I said, I'm a bit of a sponge when it comes to doing this work because I want to understand myself. When I understand myself better, it means that I, when I'm dealing with other people outside of me, I can see them as me. I can see where I might have been triggered before. I can see where I needed to be loved more. And so, I guess I just wanted to explain this out a little bit more than just share the post. Because sometimes something is so big that you need to speak to it. And this is also me understanding where I have suppressed myself and why. And so, here I am on my own. Because I've, I understand nobody's coming in here to hold my hand. Nobody's coming in here to save me, nor do I want them to. I walked myself through that process this morning. I took myself out of it. And here I am. And I'm sharing this in the hope that it might help even one more person who knows their shit is up in their face, who has no idea what to do with it, is trying to dodge it, Suppress it, push it down, anesthetize it, whatever it might look like. It's going nowhere. It's going nowhere. And I think that, personally speaking, what each of us on some level are asking us to do is to make peace with our broken pieces, to understand that we are whole no matter what. We are love no matter what. We are perfect, no matter what. And to just be here now as best possible. When you understand yourself a little bit better, to be in the present moment just feels that little bit easier. So that's me. I hope it helps somebody. Thank you.